sound with Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen, what you want to go for is that 5150 PV sound. So if you've got a Line 6 Helix, choose the PV Panama. The cab that it comes with sounds spot on, so you don't need to mess with the cabs. You want to put a flanger in front of it. Uh, I use the grey flanger with the mix at around 30%. Then after the amp, you want to put a stereo delay in there. So the delay you want to go for, the track's 139 BPM, so go for a 1 8 dotted delay. And then a reverb after that. I went for a medium hall setting after that. Put all those things in place and you should be pretty close to that sound. So the sound for Satch Boogie, I once spoke to a friend of mine who was a massive Satch fan and he basically said on that album, Surfing With The Alien, Satch just used a Marshall and a DS1. So I went with that for this and do you know what, it worked a treat. Use the Brit 2204 setting on the Helix if you've got one, otherwise JCM 800 vibes all the way. Use a DS1 style pedal. So instead of using the DS1 on the Helix, I actually used the Stupa OD. It sounded a bit more like Satch Boogie to me. But again, you guys can fiddle around and maybe see if the D's one's got a setting that I didn't find. If you get all that in a chain, you'll be pretty close to that Satch Boogie sound.
So the beat it sound, classic Steve Lucas, the rhythm sound there. I wasn't totally sure what he used on the record, but knowing Steve, it's probably an old Marshall nailed. So that's what I went for. So on the Helix, I went for the Brit Plexi jump again, and that was pretty much ballpark straight away. I added just a little bit more mid than I would normally do, and I ended up getting that kind of beat it, boxy, rocky sound. There were no real other pedals in this chain. It was pretty much beat it territory as soon as I put that on. And again, guitar wise, I'm pretty sure it's bridge humbucker vibes with this one. <laughs> So Burn by Deep Purple is literally one of my favourite riffs of all time. It's one of the first proper riffs I learned how to play and I still love it to this day. So to get that burn sound, what you want to go for is that Marshall Plexi sound. So on the Helix if you've got one, go for the Brit Plexi jump. And I stuck a kinky boost in front of it just to give me a little bit of that boxiness and just a little bit more gain. Richie Blackmore is one of the kings of the Fender Stratocaster. So use something single coil and use the bridge pickup. Do all that and you will be totally in burn territory. <laughs> So the last riff, Naked by Reef, again, what an amazing riff, one of my favourite riffs of all time. Typical strat, neck pickup, it's got that crazy honk going on, but with this sound there's something pretty mad going on that I'm guessing the producer's done. To get this sound, I split the signal, I had two amps, one pan pretty hard right, one pan pretty hard left, and what I did to one side is I put a delay pedal just after the amp, and just delayed it by like 1 64th, and that gives you that really wide stereo sound that you can hear on the track. Amp wise, to my ears, it's that typical JCM kind of Marshally sound. So on the Helix, if you've got one, go for the 2204 setting. And I put a pedal in front of it as well, just to give myself a little bit more gain. I use the Deranged Master on the Line 6 Helix if you've got one. But to be honest with you, it's probably some sort of Boss DS1 or Super Overdrive. So stick all that in a chain, do the delay thing, and you'll be pretty close to that reef sound. So all the sounds that you've heard today, you can download from my Helix Marketplace. The link to that is in my channel bio, so if you head there, click on that, it'll take you straight to where these patches are for sale. If you like this video, please subscribe, it means a lot. Leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take it easy. Bye.